Hey everybody, I'm Pete, this is John, and we want to welcome you to Wickham Road Music, and today what we're doing is taking a look at some choice pedals that we're offering at the store, and uh, we get a lot of people, John, coming into the store, and they are always asking, hey, do you have a pedal that does this? Do you have a pedal that does that? And some of those things are specific, sometimes people don't know exactly what they want they when they're asking. Recording. And so uh, we've got an experienced staff at the store that can really help you with all that. But today, what we're going to do is uh, have John talk about a specific pedal, and that pedal is... It's going to be the EHX Electro Harmonics nice. Flat Iron Fuzz. Awesome! Electro Harmonics been around forever. Mm -hmm. Longer than I've been around, I think. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. And, um, and these guys, they know how to make pedals. And I think today what we're going to see is that if you remember, I mean, if you are older and you've been around the block like uh, I have, the point is you'll have a memory of what you think an electro harmonics pedal sounds like. And I think this is going to change your mind. Go ahead and yeah. play something here. So we've got a, just a clean sound. Okay. Now this flat iron fuzz is a great distortion pedal. It's the op amp based uh, distortion pedal for you pedal nerds out there who care about those kind of things. And it features a um, symmetrical hard clipping circuit. In okay. There. Uh, and that has to do with the way it's actually wired and what okay. it physically does to the sound wave in there. Okay. Um, so it, the the hard clipping pedals. Which this is actually based on the Rat 2. Rat 2 is a very famous hard clipping pedal. Rat and roll, bro. That's oh, yeah, Rat and roll. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> Woo. So, um, but uh, that gives it a more edgier sound as opposed to a soft clipping pedal, something more like a tube screamer. Okay. Which is another classic sound, just yep. a different kind of a sound. So we'll turn this guy on. Our settings are pretty basic. Uh, we get three knobs. We get volume, filter, which is sort of like an EQ, and then we get our drive knob here. Good. Um, and this is they're just set at uh, twelve o'clock right now. Cool. All right. So this is uh, yeah. we're on we're on both pickups currently right now. I like here. that. So if I put it on my neck pickup. Tones there, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, and then if we go all the way to the bridge pickup. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's cut. Yeah, so uh, if we want to get some single coil sounds out of it, we can go through the old coil tapper here on, right. the, on the Paul Reed Smith. Yeah. Now, now, notice we're just kind of dealing with the guitar, you know, adjusting. How the pickups are reacting, right? Yeah. We're not even touching. We're not even touching the uh, the unit. Right? Yeah. I mean, we're not even doing anything with that. So we're seeing all this versatility just coming out just by what you're basically providing to the pedal. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's killer. It's, that's it's great. very it's very responsive. That's that's one of the things I really like about it. If we tap this guy. Oh yeah. Hey Johnny. So yeah. Be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, dude, I got this you. video. I got you, man. <laughs> Better be good. So if we if we if we um, switch some of these knobs around a little bit, we can roll this drive back pretty far. Yeah. And we're still gonna get a lot of nice, um, not a nice, uh, a not a lot of nice sounds. Mm -hmm. um, we get a lot of harmonics that still come out of this guy. Okay. Um, but at a sort of lower drive sound, almost right. almost venturing into the land of the the crunch pedal. Okay. Very good. Yeah, that and sounds as, good. As we increase it, one of the characteristics of hard clipping, it usually adds some compression to it. Okay. Which increases sustain. Gotcha. Right. So if we just, you know, by yeah, it's sort of not hanging, is it? Right, so that's these two humbuckers. Yeah. And it's sitting at about the, um, the 9 o'clock position. It's okay. It's less than 9 o'clock. Yeah. If we bring it all the way over to the 3 o'clock position, Look out. play some sound. There, I'll, I'll go ahead and. You can, I'll get a cup of coffee while that's sustained. You can hear the sustain. I like it! The sustain of the instrument. John! John! It's amazing! <laughs> don't touch it! Don't, don't even look at it! Don't even look at it right now! I'm not worthy! I'm not worthy! Yeah. But with that with that drive, so again, we increase the distortion uh, level, yeah. and then that saturation, and then you also you get a nice sustain that goes along with it. That's awesome! This, this filter is pretty nice. It's actually a, um, it's a low-pass filter, okay. is what it is. So if you know about the low-pass filter, you get the frequency range 
uh, the frequency across the frequency spectrum, what it's doing is it's actually um, it's almost as if somebody's speaking, like mm -hmm. we're speaking now, and you hear all the articulation in the voice and everything. Yeah. But if I were to take my hand and slowly bring it over my mouth, you get that more muffled sound. Okay. What gotcha. I've done is I've kind of gotten rid of some of those higher frequencies. Okay. Yeah. So a, a low pass filter does something that's kind of similar to that. Gotcha. So if we open that filter all the way up, we put it all the way over um, to the right, mm -hmm. which it sits about the three or four o'clock. Yeah, right. A lot brighter. Yeah. Darken it up, we'll take it back to that 12 o'clock position. There you go. Yeah. A lot warmer. Sure. And you can make it real dark by rolling it all the way out. Oh, yeah. it's midnight. It's midnight here. <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, I kind of like it uh, around the 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock position. Yeah. And you still get a lot of meat and a lot of beef in there, even if you're even if you're on your bridge. Bridge pickup setting. All right. This guy still delivers a lot. Of foxy. This is very foxy. This is a sexy pedal. Foxy. So um, another um, cool feature about this pedal is it is true bypass. Okay. And some guys like that true bypass. There's you know there's the internet debates. There's a lot of internet internet debates, but the one about pedals sometimes is buffering pedals versus the true bypass. Yeah. Basically, if you don't know, true bypass says if this is turned off, it doesn't go through the rest of the circuitry in the pedal. Okay, so right so through. It basically goes from this cable out straight through yeah. there, and so okay. it shouldn't color the sound. It shouldn't have any noise. It shouldn't do stuff like that. That's cool. And there's lots of different debates, and you can check all the debates online. But if you're a true bypass guy, that's another feature um, for this pedal. Excellent. So what I'm seeing, I mean, the uh, knobs are pretty easy to navigate. They're mm -hmm. larger, you know, even for a small pedal, they're nice and large. Right. And uh, I like the sound of it. I mean, you really demonstrated it well. It sounds very, very, you know, awesome. Yeah. The question I have, is there any negatives that you have? I mean, is there something that you don't like about it? Um, sometimes it can sound a little too edgy for me. I actually use two distortion pedals. Okay. I've got a Morning Glory on here, JHS Morning Glory. Okay. And I use that one for a lighter sound all right. and um, more of like that crunch kind of a sound. If gotcha. I track it all the way up, I get like a lighter distortion sound. Okay. Um, but this guy, um, it can be, it's a, it's a pretty, it's pretty full on distortion. So if you want something that's a little smoother, like that Tube Screamer or something like right. that, it's right. going to be hard to get it out of that pedal. Okay. You can kind of finagle it and get some sounds out of that, but uh, I actually haven't found a situation where this has been in the mix of the rest of the band or in the mix of a recording or anything. Mm -hmm. I haven't found a place where I just thought, well, it's a, that's just an unpleasant sound. Yeah. So even if I wanted a smoother sound, I'm able to get it out of the pedal. Okay. Just listen to it by itself. It can be, it can be it's that edgy sound, but that's why that pedal, that's the sound of that pedal. That's that mm -hmm. hard clipping sound. So if that's what you want, man, this... This uh, this does it. Like and one, it. one of the best features um, about it, not about the pedal itself, but it's the price that they sell it for. How much, man? It's super cheap. It's about eighty bucks <laughs> for that pedal. <laughs> That's crazy. Most of the pedals that they're that they're selling um, that are like this or has this level of quality sound to yeah. them, you're paying you're paying way more than eighty bucks. Wow. Yeah. So if you're trying to you know develop your pedal board. Would this be a go-to pedal, you think? This is great. Actually, um, recently I did some recording, and it was some um, home recording, okay. and I went direct. I oh. went direct, and this was Buzzy my main distortion sound. No buzz oh, wow. on one of my other wow. pedals, my big sky back here. I've got a cab simulator yeah. on it, so it, it really helps with the uh, with that direct sound. Because, you know, you plug your electric guitar straight into a system. Yeah, it it, is, it, yeah It's yeah. not a good sound. But this, paired with the cabinet simulator here, yeah. was a beautiful sound. Awesome. It sat so nice in the mix. Really good, um, and that was the main distortion that I was uh, that I was using for that. I was recording some lead lines for a buddy of mine. Excellent. Well, hey, I think that's going to wrap it up on this pedal, and uh, hopefully you guys got something out of this. At Wickham Road Music, we have many pedals to choose from from multiple manufacturers, and so we just invite you to come on down. You need to check them out. You need to hear them. You need to experience them. And uh, at the store, we've got you know uh, technicians and so forth who can really help you. Uh, know exactly what you're going to uh, need, whatever the situation is that you want to use your pedal for. So we're going to wrap this up. We hope you got something out of it. Again, uh, John, I appreciate everything that you do, and uh, this is awesome that you brought this to us today. And John's an instructor at the store. Uh, it's a store that has not only tons of guitars, acoustic guitars, pianos, percussion section, 
a band instrument program and a very, very awesome lesson program. And so we just want to encourage all you guys to get out there and uh, have a blast with music. That's what we're all about at Wickham Road. And uh, until we see you guys again, you guys, we'll talk to you soon.